my name is Kevin McConnell. I'm a junior. I play baseball and football here at Alkalani's. And my involvement in the athletic program is just kind of go out there and have some fun. You know, it's not too stressful. You know, definitely go out there and compete. You can't really do anything more than that. But what makes Alkalani's sports program so successful is the fact that Pretty much everyone playing the sport is just, you know, out there. You know, I mean, we're definitely a competitive school in track and football and baseball and all the sports combined here. But, you know, I think it's the kids that go to this school realize that it's a really big time commitment and, you know, they're really dedicated to the sport that they're doing. So. My name is Julian O'Donnell and I am a sports columnist for Blueprint, the newspaper of Aquilani's. Our publication, it's very mature, it's very unique, and I think that uniqueness really reflects the student body here at Aquilani's. We've written several articles about Planned Parenthood, which caused some outcry in that community. We've written articles about religion. We've tackled pretty much all of the main social issues that are present today. We've gotten positive and negative feedback, but you know, as a journalist, you expect that. My name is Muffy Bragg, and I like to draw and paint. It prepares me for my future art career if I'm going to do that because it's teaching me how to do more writing about the art and thinking beyond what it is. My sister definitely influences me a lot because she's done some really cool artistic pieces and she's always drawing and painting. Um, I think we're doing like tomatoes here or something. Oh god, this is going to be fun. I'm Olivia Daniels. I like to garden organically and sustainably with Global Student Embassy at the Aquilani's Garden here. So some of the work I do in the garden is kind of tearing up beds and making sure the soil is fertile and healthy so that we can turn seeds into big plants to donate. I work with Global Student Embassy, which is a nonprofit organization that works at different schools around the Bay Area and also have sections in Nicaragua, Ecuador, and Panama. And what they do is they just want to teach Aqualani's kids how to sustainably and organically farm and then donate that food. My name is Gabby Joseph and I'm part of Octet and I do the musicals in the fall. I'm part of the play in the spring and I'm part of Wind Ensemble. I feel really at home when I'm doing stuff related to music and especially when I'm doing it with other people who are passionate about the same thing as me. Uh, so it's a nice experience. And then it happens on the second two. Da, da, da. Being in the musical especially, when everything starts getting really stressful, being in Aqualines Productions has really taught me how to handle stress and how to handle school with other stuff. Performing arts are a really good way to showcase if you have talent or just do something that you love doing, and it's kind of stress relieving sometimes. Things that I've learned from playing sports at Aqualines would include you know, hard work, dedication, never giving up, don't listen to the people who criticize you, and uh, when something's got you down, you just gotta keep on going forward and look to the, look to the next thing. Obviously, school comes first before anything else, because if you don't have the grades, you can't play. You know, the way that I balance it is, you know, after practice, go home, eat, shower, do whatever you gotta do, and just get on the homework and hit the books, you know? It's exhausting, and you gotta, you gotta stay up late, but you gotta put in time, not just sports, you gotta have the grades to do it, so. You know, it's allowed me to pursue something I'm very interested in. Do I know if I want to be a writer or a journalist later on? I don't know, maybe. But taking Blueprint has given me a path to, you know, a possible field of work I could be doing when I'm 20 or 30. Being part of the garden, as well as taking the AP Environmental Science class, has made me decide to be an environmental studies major in college. Also, I was thinking about being an intern for Global Student Embassy during college in their Santa Cruz area. Also impacted me in like lifestyle changes, so that's also been a big part of my life. We've gotten a lot of good press from it, and a lot of people have individually come up to me and said that, oh, Aquilani's is such a great school because they have people participating in sustainability and things that make people care. Also, it's brought the school closer as a community. Just having people from environmental science work here as well brings a lot more kids into the garden than would have originally come. I literally think that you want it? <laughs> I'll just pick that one right there. Just try a leaf. Thanks. Okay, 
delicious. I think you can eat the flowers too, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> also, it's benefited like my own friendships here and I think other kids' friendships at the garden. And it's just nice having connections across the school, across grades and that sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, it's just like changed my whole life really. It's kind of hard to pinpoint one thing. It's changed like the career I'm going into, like the way I interact with people. It's become something that I participate in like three days a week. It's a really big part of my time and it's made me more globally aware too. Just because we've met these kids who travel from Ecuador and Nicaragua and just especially with the disaster that's happened there, it's really hard to hear a natural disaster happen when your friends are impacted by it and by people you've worked with before seeing that they don't necessarily have enough food or water or something. It just gives a personal connection that you didn't have before.